recording yeah it is recording so I've been uh, as you know I've been not, I've been not doing good uh, I've been depressed and so uh, I realized that uh, this is my uh, my one-year anniversary of losing my friend Mike he passed away about a year ago and I realized here's why I didn't connect two two problems one problem is I didn't talk about how I felt about uh, Mike to anyone really, and the few people I did, I knew were going through their own thing. So, uh, whoa. So I didn't talk to them much about it, and uh, also my feelings were really strong, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to upset anybody. And. So I just kind of put that stuff away. But see, it's not just that I lost a friend. Uh, because, like, well, Mike known each other for a really long time. Over 10 years. And uh, we really just started getting close. Uh, uh, like, in the last few years of his life. And, uh, like, I don't... I think I, I'm an easy person to uh, confide in. I don't, I don't judge people really, <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I, I'm honest and forthright, I say, you know, I say what I feel, and also I don't feel the need to, uh, to share things, you know, if someone tells me something that's important to them, you know, I, I figure it's like a gift to me, it's, it's, that knowledge is a gift, and, uh, so I think that Mike told me a lot of things and uh, like it was kind of like like the different aspects of his life like all the slices of the pie you know like and each of these pies was like each of these aspects of his life where it's like there were things just things in each aspect of his life that were not turning out like he wanted or like he expected The culmination of all these things uh, hit him really hard, and at first he was just like he was so stoic about it. And but some of the things that happened, I thought that like I think he thought there was some like water under the bridge, and I like I'm like some things, some things are not. Sometimes it's never too late, you know. And uh, the, the thing that about like saying something or doing something. Sometimes if you have that impulse over and over, the answer is to do it. You know, like if it's a mistake, well that's that's how you learn, you know? And you don't have to do it again. If you have the impulse to do that again, you know, well that actually doesn't work out like I thought it would. But sometimes it works out and the only way that was ever gonna work out is if you were gonna try it, you know, if you were gonna say it or go for it, that kind of thing. And I think that I was getting through with a lot of those, a lot of that concept of like, your pie, it's not too late for your pie, you know? Like all those, all the things that you uh, were hoping for and all those ways that it could have turned out, um, it's not too late. But then it was, you know? Then it was. And I looked in, into like my life and I looked into life in general and I saw all these things, you know, I saw, I saw the things that were like, that were bothering Mike in, uh, in everyday life, and I was angry at those things, you know, and I'm still angry at those things. I'm angry that the way of things is this, this is what happens, you know, and uh, I say I just got a message from uh, Matt, uh, crazy Matt the metal worker formerly of the workshop of death now of cat's cradle hi man i'll get to you i'll get to you in a moment shout out to my most excellent buddy anyway so i was in a, in a way irrationally angry and depressed and i didn't realize the source i didn't realize where it was all coming from 
so like I still don't feel good I still feel really sad you know I don't have many friends so it's, it's horrible to lose one and it's horrible to lose one when it really looked like he was on the edge of trying to turn some uh, what he thought were losses back into victories not like trying another victory but turning those losses into victories like uh, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat kind of thing So yeah, I think that now that it's been uh, now that it's been like a year, uh, I feel that I could talk about it more, and I think that's probably what I should have done a long time ago. Like maybe if I couldn't talk to uh, the people that were as close to, uh, I could have found somebody to talk to. Like uh, you know, I could have seen I, yeah, I could have quite easily gone to see a counselor or something like that. It would have been would have been no problem at all. Where am I gonna go? I think I'm gonna go the long way. I hate. There's a, there's some roads I just don't like. <laughs> I don't like that road. So if like so, it feels good to uh, to get to the the core of that. Because that was part of the thing. It's like I kept wondering, like, why the hell am I so bummed out? Like Reet Gieb uh, was a uh, uh, busting my balls about that in my last video. And I took down a bunch of my videos because it's just depressed video after depressed video after depressed video. So it's like it, it feels like a weight off my chest, actually. And then also I feel a little bit more emotional than I've been feeling in a really long time. Emotions that didn't involve just straight up anger. I think that there's like the top five stressors in that human beings have. Uh, I think that. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm going to guess, like, like death, uh, moving, uh, the ending of a relationship, and uh, I can't think what the other two are. But uh, I think I underestimated the impact of, my, of Mike's death was going to have on me. And that was, that was silly. That was silly to do. That showed, like, a, uh, a, re a real lack of insight into my, my very own emotional uh, uh, core, like into what makes me me, to just think that I could just say like, oh yeah, oh well. I didn't say oh well, but like, as far as like taking care of the emotions, like if you don't process the emotions that you have, something's gonna happen. And they're not just gonna go away. So, all right, thank you for, thanks for putting up with all my depressed videos and shit. <laughs>